this video will cover conversion of decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Before we do the calculations, why is this topic important? Angles are measured in degrees. For Geographical Coordinate System, GCS, for example, we can reference any point on the Earth by its latitude-longitude coordinate. Degrees can be expressed in two ways. Number one, as degrees, minutes, and seconds, DMS, or number two, as decimal degrees, DD. In a GIS, decimal degrees are more efficient because it makes digital storage of coordinates easier and computations faster. For example, using your mobile phone, try to locate your latitude longitude position as you watch this video. Your phone will usually display this in decimal degrees, DD, rather than in degrees, minutes, and seconds, DMS. Most surveying instruments store points, positions, and locations in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And most surveyors usually work with degrees, minutes, and seconds, more than decimal degrees. In this Mathematics of Engineering Surveying, we are going to learn how to convert decimal degrees to DMS, that is, degrees, minutes, and seconds. And afterwards, in another video, we are going to learn how to convert degrees, minutes, and seconds to decimal degrees. The knowledge of this is very important for all construction and engineering surveyors. Let's convert these decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. This is a whole number, and this is to three decimal places. The first step is write down the whole number. Next, separate the decimal number. This is 0 0.345. But we are going to need something in between. Here, I'm going to use a plus. This is not addition. This is just a concatenation character. Though, if you add this both, you are still going to get this. However, we are moving away from this towards degrees. The next step is multiply the decimal part by 60 minutes. And you will have 28. Then we'll just join this. And our result is 20.7. Next step. I will leave this 28 and this 20, I will remove 0 0.7 from this 20. Hence, I will multiply the remaining 0 0.7, multiply that by 60 again. So this, I'm going to have 28, then 20 then if i multiply 0 0.7 by 60 i'm going to have 42. in the last step i will remove the concatenation characters and my final result will be 28 degrees 20 minutes 42 seconds this is our final result Let's take another question. Convert the decimal degree to degrees, minutes, and seconds. The first step is I will write down the whole number. Next, I will multiply the decimal by 60. Next, I will keep the 37. Then here, I will leave the 13 and the 0 0.38 will multiply 60 again. Hence, I'm going to have 
37 then 13 then multiplying this i'm going to get 22.8 the final step is remove the concatenation character and our final answer is 37 degrees 13 minutes 22.8 seconds between the degrees and the minutes and the minutes and the seconds nothing will be in between them i want you to pause the video and try this out if you have done this correctly you should have this as your answer in the next video you are going to see how to move backwards from degree minutes and seconds to decimals and this is not just decimal this is decimal degrees thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe i hope this was helpful i will see you in the next video